Please welcome from Finland, Berti Korekan Nimi Bavad. Hello! some good, good, good old-fashioned punk rock yes. in the Eurovision. Yes. And I can see you have many tattoos. Kari, do you have a new tattoo? It's, it's wet. I know. Uh, I think it's new. Tattoo is so well had. Harlem Davidson from the 50s and 60s and 90s. I like 50s and 60s American and the British rock and roll. I like this 50s and 60s American cars and American motorcycle. I like this. I like this British motorcycle and the soil that you tattoo to the uh, Finland is tattoo point place to the couple. You, you day. I have two tattoos too, so. You? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Where? In uh, my arms. I have, all, I have also four. Yeah, but that's like two, but uh, I'm gonna get more. Yeah? Okay. In Austria, they are really great people who can make you. I'm gonna do it in Finland. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do it at home. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for the questions? Okay, you can start. 
Kuba, Il de Paiva. Hi, I'm Simon from Poland. This year's Eurovision Song Contest is about building bridges. So we are here also to understand the, the work of other artists. I read the story that you, some of you remember lyrics or the music by different pictures or colors. Is it true? Uh, would you explain that the process of, for instance, uh, learning the lyrics of the song and so on? It's first, uh, uh, I think it's Perti who has our riffs. And of course we use a uh, use, uh, method of, uh, of colors and shapes because it's easier for us to do the music, so it's a lear it's learning process. Okay. And Karina has our, 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 our lyrics. Okay. Next question on this side. Thank you. Please stand up, yes. So it's uh, Mike from EasyClass.com. Uh, you're quite a big touring man. What's the best place that you've ever played a gig in the whole world? It's hard to say. There are a lot of a lot of places that we like to play. So I think uh, I think yeah. Right now it's the fair Eurovision. Well, I think it's going to be one of the best places. But we'll see. There are a lot of. A lot of life. Okay. Okay, In Finland there are lots of, uh, lots of good, good places. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very good to take place and suck suck. In Germany. <laughs> okay. Tony would like to say. No, ah, Tämä tungi mieleni, että sitä, että mä oon soittanut kuusvuotiaana humpuja ja, ja, sitten, ja, sitten, ja sitten oli ää, tämä, 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 timppa, tämä timppa oli mun humpuopettaja ja, ja timppa näytti, että mitä mun soitetaan vaan tanssimusaa ja, ja sitten Ja, ja sitten, sitten, ja sitten, tuli, sitten tuli vaan taitoa, että ää, ää, miten on sujuu tämä Pehti Kurikan nimipäivä. Ja, ja, ja me, ja me annutaan, että, että me, ää, me tultiin siihen tuloksi, että me ollaan tehty paljon haastatteluja ja sitten oli paljon ilmahin kirjoittelua ja sitten oli uh, uh, jos, jos uh, se ja semmoinen juttu, että, että, uh, että semmoinen asia, että me tuli tämän takia viiniin näyttämään meidän voitto ja meidän me nähdään tohina. Okay, so Tony was saying, saying that he has played drums since he was uh, six years old. So quite a lot of time now, quite a lot long. And his teacher uh, wanted him to play first like Schlager music. <laughs> but then came Perti Kurika Mimipäivä and they have been touring a lot and played a lot and they have done a lot of interviews and a lot of gigs. And they wanted to show to you all here in Eurovision this kind of music. And they, they are Again, of course, want to win, and they will already invited you to come to the market square to celebrate. <laughs> Tony is raised. Tony is raised, the boy. You, you raised. You ask him to do that day. The next question, yes. Hi guys, I'm Alistair Birch from SBS Radio in Australia. I have a question about oh, for Kari. Um, could you tell us please a little about your radio show? Um, what do you like talking about? Who do you like talking to?
mitään mä haastattelen siinä suoma, laisia, kaikenlaisia julkiksia laidasta laitaa ja ollaan juteltu niin kuin näiden suomalaisten julkisten kanssa niiden elämästä ja mun elämästä laidasta laitaa ja sitten mä sain siitä palkinnon nyt menneen vi- viikon keskiviikkona semmosessa rar- rariokaalassa tuolla rautatie asemalla tuolla e- siinä missä oli ennen luistelu rata siellä rautatieaseman malla niin siellä sain semmosen palkinnon siitä isäntänä Kari Aalto-ohjelmassa, että se palkittiin siinä samassa kategoriassa, missä oli yksi muukin ohjelma palkittavana ra- rarjopassosta, mutta mä, saa, mä, saa, mä sain siinä Kari korjas sen palkinnon siitä isäntänä Kari Aalto-ohjelmasta. Okay, so he he invites people to the radio show. He doesn't play music, but he talks with the people. There are uh, celebrities, famous people for all the fields you can imagine, and the topics are that they speak about the life, the life of the uh, guest and the life of Kari. And Kari actually won this very big prize uh, in a Finnish national radio call last week because of this show, so congratulations. Blair Martin from Radio 4 Triple Z in Brisbane, Australia. First, I want to send you greetings from the city that gave the world the first punk band in the Saints. And our radio station is celebrating 40 years this year, and we celebrate punk every day. So, thank you for bringing it to Eurovision. Just want to ask what is so good about punk music to tell your story to the world? I think the punk rock is uh, uh, the, for me. It's like a, we can tell uh, tell our own, our own opinions, and it's fun. Punk rock is fun, and everybody can uh, can uh, have a good time one day listening to punk rock. Uh, we also have questions from uh, our online viewers. Uh, via hashtag Ask Eurovision, and uh, there's one question: uh, What has been the biggest surprise on this Eurovision journey so far? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tänään Ajatellaan niitä ja aina niin jo Euroopassa valitettu, kun tulee tapahtuu täällä viimeisessä siis täällä Itä-Vallassa. So the biggest surprise has been that they are actually here in Vienna, that they are in Eurovision and representing the, um, their song here. Mm-hmm. For me, I think it's the biggest, uh, well, biggest thing that is that the, because it's so the the stage is so big. <laughs> I could not <laughs> that okay. used to that. <laughs> and the other thing is that for me I cannot even fathom that I'm hearing it. That I am I'm hearing Eurovision and <laughs> sitting here and 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 getting getting waiting for the semi finals. 
Yes, and, and Daniela would like to know what would you do if you won Eurovision? A big party. Yes. <laughs> Now you have, uh, you can take place here at the football.